Hi, I'm Nigel Clamp. I'm the Head of Health and Safety and Environment at Breeden GB Materials. We looked through our accident statistics over 2020-2021. We were looking at something in a region of 100, 120 collision incidents of various types. And uh, we were looking at and thinking, what are we going to be doing for the future? And at that point, we considered all the options on the market and we wanted a system that was fully automated for our machines. And that's why we started looking at the Ogden system. We looked at the, the fleet of machines that we had, and in fairness, the majority of the fleet, which was a concern to us, was the interface with the smaller vehicles and the external hauliers. And to us, that means that the prime movers in terms of loading, um, loading shovels, wheeled loaders, they were the ones that we needed to address first. And we've got a fleet of somewhere in the region of over 250 of those types of vehicles. We trial various different types of products, um, but we believe the auto braking system is the system that we wanted to deploy on our front line. We, we, we're now on, I think it's phase four of the implementation within Breeden. We started back end of 2019, thereabouts, and we've got about 50 machines left to install. So yeah, it's, it's a big financial investment. However, when you look at it, is it really? I mean, if you look at the payback on this, we were having somewhere in the region of about 120 you know, collisions a year of various different types. How many of those do you need to be actually pay off the investment? I'd argue, not very many. The reality of the system is that the, 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 the radar systems are very, very sensitive and they're, they're tunable and adjustable. So the reality is that it doesn't interfere with their day-to-day -day job at all, but it will bring on the brakes automatically if they're coming into within, say, a metre and a half to two metres of a fixed structure, a person or a vehicle, and that's critical. This fits in perfectly with the Fakel 6 on its vision towards um, zero injuries and a key element of that is vehicle and pedestrian segregation. Allied to that is what they call safer by design and I've been involved with the team across the industry um, updating the requirements for specifications for machines so anybody whether they're in a large quarry, small quarry or even a ready mix plant whatever if, if they wanted to select a machine they can filter on the website the type of machine that they want and it will recommend fitments of safety equipment, be it cameras, be it mirrors, or, or be it VMS systems, for instance, in terms of radar. Safer Than Done by Design is an internet-based platform. It's on safequarry.com. Anybody logging in with that internet connection, once they've registered, they can access the additional resources. So you can select a machine, um, you can identify what specification you'd like to fit to that machine and literally print it off and give it to Caterpillar or Komatsu or whatever in terms of a purchasing spec. For those of you that have already got a machine, you can check whether or not the current specification meets what's advised by the MPA. So it's a very useful tool, whether you're a manager or a purchasing manager, ensure, making sure that the vehicle is fit for purpose in, the 20, uh, in 2022 onwards.